Yeah, good morning. This is Francois from Drain Doctor here. We're number 10, Cornwall Street in Lower Hutt. We're going to do the CCTV footage of um, the sewer drain first. I'll just show you basically where we are. Where we at? We are pretty much at the end of the house and behind me. Oh, there you go. There's the garage, and I've got. We're going to go through the um, galley trap over here. This is uh, not the uh, the head of the drain. The head of the drain is around the corner. This way, but unfortunately, I took some photos. You've got a um, wooden deck on the top of it. Um, that's not going to help, of course, and it's uh, fully um, sealed. So you need a builder to basically open it up. So what I do, I'm just going to go from this galley trap, which I believe runs alongside onto um, the driveway. All right, so let's have a look at the condition of the drains. And what I do on the way back, I will do a location and give me an idea about where the drains are running. Just have to mention, these drains haven't been jet flushed, haven't been cleaned. We're going through the galley trap. Uh, I'm just going to put it back to straight away. You can see a bit some displacement in the line. So that's the, the galley trap um, lid. And we jump into, into the main trunk, if I call that. As you can see, there's water sitting in there already. And I haven't put it back to zero yet, so no, 100% sure the cause of right. So I'm just going to re zero the line. So the metrage is back to zero. As I mentioned, and I told you, um, this line hasn't been jet flushed, hasn't been clean, so we're looking at as it is. So 100 mil earthenware clay pipe. What you see is um, cobwebs. Now, for the condition of the line, I'm going to see as it is. All right. So I'm going to have a give a call to Bevan, which we're doing uh, the job for, which is locate. Um, and. What I'm going to do is ask him if you want to jet flush the line or not. Therefore, we can see a better quality cable locator, a bigger pattern. That's what we're doing the job for. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have a look at it as it is, and we'll go from there. There's a bit of a displacement there, slight. Something here as well, it's a bit of an open. an inspection point, the old long ones, right to the wall, water's building up, Nothing holding there is just telling me there's a deep, slight dip in the line, and you can see it's open, little open joints over here. Go back down. To me, it looked like just before on the eight meter mark, uh, the the line was um, going slightly back full. Once we're going back down now. Trivets intrusions on the joints. There's an inspection point here. You've got incrustation coming in from the joints and roots. 
more incrustation on the joints. You've got just try to have a look at that because you've got water dripping from, uh, as you can see there. So there's definitely water coming in into the pipe from outside. Always tree root there. I would say that would be the inspection. You can see large tree roots going through. Webs. Oh, 17 meters. Got more crustacean coming in with some tree roots on the joints. Same thing here as well. Cobwebs in there. Uh, you got definitely crustacean build up of encrustation here on the left hand side of your pipe from the joints. Not too sure what's on the top of the got discoloration, maybe surface damage on the roof there. Once again, like I say, it hasn't been cleaned. More incrustation build up. Here again as well. Uh, look like the pipe is damaged on the inspection point there. Displacement in the line. What we call a positive displacement. Just dropping. And there's a negative displacement. You see the pipe is holding a bit of water. I may just have to run some water into the drains. Give me a couple of minutes. I'm just going to run some water in the drain and then we'll, um, we'll clear the lens. What I may do as well, I may just uh, recording backwards as well. Once I got into the uh, into the main, and then I uh, will um, we'll have a look backwards as well to see what's um, what's going on. So I'm running water in the moment in the drain. As soon as the water goes through, I will um, clear the lens so I can see better. So, just turn the water off. I'm just waiting for the water to disappear. The 
once the water just uh, go away, I will um, I will carry on pushing the camera. Um, so far, um, we've seen a few issues with the with the line. Um, if you're looking to use this line for putting two houses on it, I will say no. Uh, there's too many issues in there, unless unless you're looking at to. Nah, no, nah, wouldn't because you've got one stage, you've got a bit of a backfall on the line, so therefore. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, yeah. Right, so the water's kind of die a bit, which is good. Just going to carry on. So 24 and a half meters. Once again, here it's got a bit of a, a bit of a displacement. Got another inspection point there. Alright, so here you go, here you've got a broken pipe, you can see it's cracked, you've got a crack on the right hand side and on the left hand side, just on the left hand side of your screen there, you can see it on the joints, cracked on the joints. Okay, carry on, it's got some displacement, and another inspection point could be the latch hole, you've got incrustation coming in, from the joints, bit of displacement here again. So the camera just jumped over. Same thing here as well. Bit of displacement. Look like the pipe shifted on the right hand side. Thirty-two, almost thirty-two meters. Another again here. It's shifted a bit. Here as well. It's got another displacement in the line. See the water is just be no water sitting in there, it should be travelling straight away. Straight through. I can go through. Yep. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to run some water again because it's just sort of to get that lens cleaned again. Give me another minute or two. Let's run some water. So just managed to go. I pulled back and I got stuck onto that that displacement. Um, managed to jump over again. Just wait for the water to die down, and then we'll carry on for uh, 36 meters at the moment. So we'll be definitely um, getting closer to the council main. I'll um, go all the way to the council main, and we'll do our mark everything. Uh, I'll mark everything on the road and on the footpath 
as it comes into the driveway or just use a crayon okay so crayon will eventually wash off so I ain't gonna spray paint I'll use a crayon on it okay so we'll kind of slow it down a bit we'll go with it again here it's got minor displacements still 100 mil we jump from earthenware to PVC so I can see a bit better not too sure if it's a wide junction picking up another place or it's just because we turn it's kind of a chicane so fortunately the camera can't look on the left hand side of the screen um, I'm gonna pull back definitely an inspection point there there's an inspection point there what I'm, that, that is not too sure. All right, so here's the main. Okay, now so it's just a chicane. Go, don't, don't. So there's there's a cancel main. Just gonna put the lens in there. It's been it. Up. Oh, there we go. It's just dangling. But here it is. So here's the cancel main running there. What we're gonna do? I'm just going to uh, locate that. As I mentioned and as I said. Um, I'm going to mark everything on the way back and on spray paint the road, the footpath comes to the driveway, cryons, um, and that's going to be pretty much it. The next thing we're going to do is um, basically the stormwater, the stormwater drains. I believe the stormwater drains need to be jet flushed. Um, I spoke to Bevan and he agreed because um, the athlete is on the curb and it's just full of silt and debris so I need to be um, take care of that first before I run the camera into the drains regarding the sewer drains um, there's definitely issues, multi issues with it you've got a few displacements, minors some yeah bit, bit, between medium and, and small um, you've got pipe is cracked which I'll mark that as well for you uh, you've got a small deep in the line it's holding or flat um, and you've got quite a bit of an incrustation coming in and one stage on the um, inspection point you've got water dripping into as well so literally personally I would say you'll have to relay the new line if you want to not going to use the same otherwise you're going to get trouble especially for a brand new house